Hey, y'all, welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, Deadpool 2 is in theaters this weekend, and I'm very excited. And I'm man Andrew Foy and went to New York City to talk to the stars and settle some beef with one of them. Here's how it went down. So how would you describe Deadpool 2 in one sentence? Cattywampus, bumfuzzle, argle bargle. Not really a sentence. Uh, Deadpool 2 is like the Canadian version of Couples Retreat with slightly less small and Ackerman. We're going to form a super duper group. That's what we're going to do. Our group will be forward thinking, gender neutral. We will be known as X Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Um, okay, Ryan, take me through the scene. You and Blake are at home, the kids are at home, and you finally show them these movies. Yeah. How old are they going to be, and what is that? What are you going to tell them about these movies? Well, my daughter's three and a half right now, so she's going to have to wait at least three or four months to see the film. But, but um, you know, I it's going to be interesting. You know, my kids sob when they see me in the scar makeup. So I, I think it might be a little while. I don't, you know, that was, because that, I go to, you know, I leave for work in the morning. I look like dad. By the time they get there, it looks like I had a nap in a microwave. And it's not a good look. So, yeah, we'll see. You know, everybody used to tell me, why isn't Terry Crews in a superhero movie yet? And what's crazy is Ryan was like, I'm wondering the same thing. Terry Crews, get your ass up here. <laughs> And we had a ball because I'm going to tell you, one thing I know is action and I know comedy. And it's the perfect mix. And this is what this movie is. It's the biggest superhero action comedy movie of all time. Now, the last time we spoke, yeah. you, you lovingly, and I say lovingly, called me a whore. Did I? You did. Oh, good for me. Yeah. Good for me. Why did I call you a whore? You said I need to get my life together. <laughs> I think you were... You, that sounds like me. You said that. I think you called me a Did whore. I mean it derogatorily or did oh, I mean it most. like... Yeah. Like, you, you said I... You just come across, you have the aura of a whore. I asked if your stepmom was... Oh, yeah. what a whore. You started it again. See? It's okay talking about my stepmom. I don't mind talking about my stepmom, but you have to ask an intelligent question. I asked a great... Can't ask a whorish question. I don't, I, but maybe it's a good What's thing. What's the one stepmother question that you have? Oh, I don't have any. Really? I, I don't go there with you anymore. <laughs> what? Well, what does you? You just did. Well, okay, all right. Ruin your interview, they, ruin your interview. <laughs> go ahead and ruin your of, interview. There's music of hers in the film. Was that, you, was that your doing or was that always Ryan? No, that was Ryan. That was Ryan. I thought it was funny, though. I thought it was appropriate. She thought it was appropriate. That I don't think that she saw it, but she liked the idea of lending her song in a humorous way in a movie that I was doing. That's nice. Pretty close, so, yeah. Now let's just talk about your workout and your diet and all that stuff. Why? When we could talk about my stepmother. All right, should we just do it? We can make it's it all about Babs. Can I call her Babs? You can call her whatever you want. My reaction, you have to allow, can be whatever I want. What would Vanessa think about Deadpool? <laughs> <laughs> she might like it. <laughs> she might get high and watch it, to be honest. I mean, that's... Uh, regular people can do that, too. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously, this is a huge summer for you. Are mm. you... How, what, what keeps you grounded? I mean, this is huge. Everything. That other... You. Me? You keep me grounded. How do I keep you grounded, Josh? Right now, you keep me grounded. I'm, I'm not flying high with you right now. <laughs> I'm not levitating. <laughs> I'm down here. Who should not come to see this movie? Uh, well, people who are easily offended, uh, those with taste, uh, and a sense of humor. Uh, people who don't like to waste time or money. And Christian Ronaldo. That guy.